Today, we would like to take a few minutes and talk about one of the biggest issues facing us today, global warming and the negative impacts HFC gases have on this issue. Yet at the same time, we want you to understand all the facts regarding HFCs. In order for you to make an informed decision about upcoming legislation regarding HFC gases, the rest of the video lasts eight minutes, and we ask you to please invest just a few minutes to learn the whole story. Not all HFCs are We'd like to start our discussion with an analogy. We all agree that drug abuse is bad. It destroys people's lives, tears families apart, and will eventually lead to death. We can also agree that all drugs are not bad. Controlled prescription drugs can improve one's lifestyle, even save one's life. For example, morphine or Demerol uncontrolled can be addictive, but controlled and used during surgery, it's a miracle drug making the pain tolerable. In the same way, HFC-based gases used to suppress fires have a far more positive impact on global warming and our society than negative impact. Here are five surprising facts about HFC fire suppression gases that you need to know. Fact 1. Non-emitting HFC gases. 99.6% of all HFCs created for the fire suppression industry are never released into the atmosphere. These gases are stored in heavy-duty containers that are inspected twice a year per NFPA fire code for a variety of performance requirements. But most important to this discussion, the tanks are inspected for any leaks. Less than one-fourth percent of all tanks will have a leak. And since this gas is very expensive, these leaks are repaired immediately. Fact 2. Life safety. Another use for HFC gases is for inhalers helping individuals with asthma and other breathing disorders. These inhalers not only allow someone to live a more active life, but they also save lives every day. In the same way, HFC fire suppression gases save lives in the event of a fire. When there is a fire, an HFC gas is released that not only suppresses the fire, but most importantly, it is non-toxic to humans. These fire suppression gases save lives every year. Fact 3. Explosion Protection A primary use of these gases is used to guard against catastrophic explosions. The unique characteristics of these HFC fire suppression gases can instantaneously interrupt an explosion chain reaction, stopping a disastrous fire from occurring. Hundreds, if not thousands of lives are saved every year. Millions of dollars of property damage is averted maybe even saving the business itself from financial ruin. And HFC explosion protection eliminates the release of tons of toxic and global warming gases into the atmosphere caused by fires. That brings us to fact number four. Significant reduction of global warming gases from fires that are prevented because of HFC fire suppression systems. Let's take the factory fire in Clare, Michigan, October 2008. This could be easily described as a small to medium factory fire. There is no question that this fire is responsible for releasing tons of toxic chemicals and global warming gases into the atmosphere. On a side note, before this next statement is made, please understand that these comments I'm about to make are subject to a significant number of opinions. Not to mention factors such as what are the products or chemicals stored in the factory, and what construction materials were used in the construction of the building. But in just one fire, like the factory fire in Michigan last October, there was more global warming gases created and released into the atmosphere than if all the HFC fire suppression gases installed in the U.S. in 2008 were all released at one time. The prevention of three to four factory fires in just one year could significantly reduce global warming in comparison to eliminating HFC fire suppression gases. The equivalent reduction in global warming would take a 10 to 15 year time period. Fact 5. Mission Critical Fire Protection This is not to understate the value of a human life, but a large percentage of the data centers, and even more important, are the telecommunication facilities across the country, are protected by HFC fire suppression systems. Protecting the country's and world's most vital technology, such as data and communication transmissions for the Internet, local and long-distance telephone services, 
cellular phone service, cable TV, and many other data communication systems from the threat of fire is not an option. The information and communications that pass through these facilities today are the lifeline of our businesses, not to mention our federal. Additionally, our country's utility industry is protected by HFC fire suppression systems somewhere in their power generation process. Typically, in the most highly volatile processes in a power generation facility is subject to explosions, and a large percentage of these processes are protected by HFC gases. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. We could go on for another 60 to 90 minutes talking about the benefits of HFC fire suppression gases, but we hope the few minutes we spent together have helped you to understand that not all HFC gases are the same. We hope that you'll come to the realization that banning these gases will lead to substantially more global warming caused by just one fire a year, not to mention the loss of phone service, data transmission or utility power, and most importantly, the loss of lives caused by these fires. Today, there are basically three proposals on the table regarding HFC gases. Number one, complete elimination of all HFC gases. We hope that you would consider strongly making an exception of HFC fire suppression gases because of all the reasons listed above. Two, implementing a tax on HFC gases. We also believe that this will be a significant setback for mission critical fire protection simply because these gases are already expensive and it would make these gases almost cost prohibitive and would ultimately have the same impact as total elimination of all HFC gases. We recommend against this option. 3. Staged elimination of all HFC gases over time. As it relates to HFC fire suppression gases, we feel that a stage effort on paper sound good, but once again it most likely would have a far greater negative impact than positive. When halon production was banned in the early 90s, other gases emerged as replacements. But these gases carried with them 25 to 50 percent cost premiums over halon. The use of fire suppression systems protecting critical equipment and technology has reduced by percentage simply because of cost. Situations like the data center fire March 2008, destroying 75 servers, could have been averted. But costs have typically been an overriding factor. If stage elimination was considered, we would need no less than 25 years to accomplish this with at least 10 years before the first target date reduction of no more than 15%. Thank you for taking the time to learn a little more about HFC fire suppression gases. We hope that you'll come to the same conclusion we have, that eliminating these life safety gases is like throwing out the baby with the bathwater. The overriding evidence shows that these gases are 99.6% non-emitting. They are inspected biannually for leaks. They save lives, and by reducing fires, ultimately, we'll reduce global warming significantly more than it'll cause. We hope that you've concluded that not all HFC gases are the same. Please consider removing HFC fire suppression gases from any legislation banning or reduced usage. The evidence is overwhelming why this is in the best interest of everyone across our country and globe.